back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So I know I haven't been back in a long time, but that's because I had a lot going on these last couple of months. And that's the point of this video, a get ready with me, chit chatty kind of, um, letting you guys know where I've been. And yeah, so stay tuned. And this is the look that I did. Yes a pop of color on the lips. I know, something that I don't do on my channel. But I really hope you guys do enjoy. My skin is so dry. I haven't worn makeup in forever. So well, I clean my face with my micellar cleansing water. So I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. Plus, where have I been? What I've been up to? Why I haven't been posting videos? Um, why I haven't had time to make any videos? Etc. Etc. So right now I'm, gonna, I'm putting on my Gigi Gorgeous. Um, what's the actual name of this? I got it in this one tipsy bag. It is Gigi Gorgeous Living Lip Balm in Natalia. I'm also going to be testing out a new makeup because if you guys see my table, I literally have so many months worth of Ipsy bags, Boxy Charm. I have four Ipsy bags. One. In three boxy charm boxes. Oh, and I also have this new The Cover Girl True Blend Undercover Concealer in Sand Beige. I tested this out on Halloween for my eyelids, and I feel like it's like a matte. So I don't know how I'll like that for the other eyes. So this month's Ipsy bag, I got the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. That's my moisturizer. Rewind. I got the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair O and Cannabis Santa Seed Oil. So I don't know that. And it's so tiny and cute. And I really want to try this out. I don't know if I should try it out after. I'm going to let my moisturizer sit into the skin first. So I don't have any questions. I should have asked questions on Instagram or something prior to this video but I thought about doing this this morning because I finally had a day off of school and work so I just felt so relieved but um, I'm just gonna shoot stuff out as I go on with my makeup because it's just gonna be a chitty a chitty <laughs> a chatty get ready with me plus where have I been I haven't posted a video in so long and that's because I've been having a lot that's been going on lately in my life um, semester started and then I ended up getting two jobs um, so I really haven't had time I was gonna let that sit into my skin first nice. I haven't had time really to do anything um, and then recently this month I um, lost my grandfather so that was very hard I've just pretty much been stressed with school work I, re I really don't have any days off I don't have time for like my videos also I've been trying to have like a business on the side as well my own cosmetic business so that's been hard too I really haven't had much time for that either I'm trying to like branch out to try new things and makeup so that's why I decided to start subscribing to BoxyCharm and I haven't even really had time to test out a lot of the products I've only tested out a few here and there here it is i think it's almost over this brow pencil yeah this is all i have left so i ended up when i was in walmart i ended up buying a new one but they didn't have express so they had chocolate and i remember i feel like i used chocolate before before i started buying express i know i used to use chocolate so i'm gonna see now since i dyed my hair red to see if chocolate goes good because i feel like express was a little too dark for the red hair I do have videos that I did record, but I never had time to edit them. I did another seafood mukbang, 
and then I did a fall get ready with me and I was so sick when I did that video but I managed to do it so I'll probably have this one up before that one I do have a new camera I do have new lights I didn't have these lights in that video but I did have the camera and I talked about it I found a different way that I like to fill in my eyebrows and I think I explained it more in depth in that video so the video will be up soon after this one I want to try to have this one up this week try to make time to um, edit it and post it um, so you guys know where like what I've been up to and what has been going on but I kind of like this shade chocolate for this hair color you guys like my nails I always ask if you guys like my nails in like all my videos these are my real nails and I have like SNS dip powder on it thank you anyways like I was saying um editing is very time consuming that's one and two not having the actual time for it is you know you have to have the time for it to talk through girl i could talk and talk and talk i talked a lot in that video like a lot i think half of the stuff that i'm saying now was in that video um and that video i believe was last month or a month before that i don't remember i think it was like september i'll tell you right now when it was and that video was almost two hours. I like to press my oil and then roll it crazy. The video was September 26th. And it is November 10th. Alright, I really want to dive into um, my BoxyCharm boxes. So as I let all the products on my face sit, I'm going to let them sit a little more. I'm going to wash my sponges and then we're going to go out. Um, we're going to come back to cleaning under the brows move on to eyeshadow and then the face because I don't know what eyeshadow look I want to do yet so I'll be right back my nose so you guys know I've been obsessed with the Morphe sponge wow this elf sponge definitely definitely beats Morphe's ass honestly <laughs> anyways so So I'm going to take my Maybelline powder, set my eyelids a little, not too much, and then start the eyeshadow process. Okay, so I really don't like my camera dying and all that stuff. If I just try to like do the video, I don't like interruptions during my videos. Um, and now that my phone is upgraded and it is um, the Max, the iPhone XS Max. Um, has really good camera quality, so that's what I'm on right now. Doesn't bother me that I'm using a phone or not. I know I spend a lot of money on that camera, but I feel like battery-wise, battery situation, I like for shorter videos. Um, especially if I decide to record in the morning, like I said, it's it's already night. Um, yeah, all that. I just no. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys from right here because this mirror is a humongous. But, um, yeah, don't want to do like complete matte eyeshadow look. Don't mind my little pelitos up here. But, um, I'm just gonna see where I go. I feel like these bottom three are really good bronzer and contour shades. Agree to disagree. <laughs> and it's a bomb that it has a black in it, honestly. And it was so delicious. Let me see what brush I'm gonna use. And I haven't really cleaned any of my brushes either. Well, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. beauty primer actually, and um, just put this in my pores because my pores have been like insanely large lately, which is a no-no. So I'm just gonna put this 
pop this <laughs> it's gonna pop this on my browser wow the lighting with this camera is insane like i can imagine how my own my old phone would have looked with all these lights what did i say did i say the wrong thing did i say camera and phone and i can imagine how my old phone would look with all these lights because that was the problem i didn't have these lights i'm just gonna take my luxie 237 blending brush almost wiped myself on the face i am going to take the shade stone just like this brown right here and i'm just gonna pop that onto the crease I really don't know what kind of look i'm trying to go for but um i guess i'm going for a new whoa that's pigmented i guess i'm just gonna go for a neutral look because um, um the kind of shirt i'm wearing is an olive green plus we're in fall might as well. I feel like I'm really all over the place with this video. But I mean, um, that's regular Ashley stuff, right? I think I'm kind of gonna go for a smoky brown eye and like a nice lip color. I kind of really want to use that Dosa Colors um, lip, liquid matte lip. Cause like I said, it's still fall. I'm wearing a green shirt, green screams fall. <laughs> um. <sighs> Look at that natural glow, yes. That's what that oil is doing. This one right here. I'm just gonna take timber on top. Smoke it up very lightly. Oh, and my last video not my last video the last one that i recorded um i had a different hair color like i said it was in september so it's my black with my blonde um and you guys are just like the hair changed up and you're like whoa it's weird that's why i'm giving you guys a heads up now all right the eyes are pretty dark yikes oh too dark <laughs> um i'm gonna see if i can take find a bigger fluffy brush I haven't even had time to clean my brushes because I haven't really been wearing makeup these last couple of months like that. I'm just gonna smoke out. I didn't add nothing to this, to this brush. I'm just cleaning it off, not adding any kind of product to it. Just to blend out the edges and the color because I feel like it's a little too dark. The eyes are kind of a little patchy. I don't know what that could be. I don't think it's the concealer, I think it's the eyeshadow. I kind of want to put a shimmer shade on the lid. But then I want to keep the eyes matte. And do that pop. And I'm going to go with my elf highlighter. My nose is super itchy, so I'm be constantly scratching it. My elf highlighter broke. I dropped it. I went on the table and I pushed the table and it fell. Anyways, so this is my, um, the metallic flare in white gold. Just gonna pop that on the lid a little bit. I want the main focus to be eyelashes and lips in this video. Or like in like, you know, skin. Like so I'm gonna do that. The Firma 204 flat brush. And I'm just going to just pop this a little bit. It's subtle on the eyes. And like forming it as a putting the cup breeze. I'm gonna take that big puppy brush that I didn't add any product to. And I'm gonna go back into Timber just very lightly. And then I'm just gonna blend out the crease. I don't have any idea of what look I wanted to do for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to come on and give you guys an update on my life and everything that's you know a lot majority of the things that have been going on i can't wait for january january 8th you guys are gonna be 21 two months away from right now and i'm hype as hell girl i'm trying to get lit with my friends and my family like little two titties okay that's how late your girl's trying to get. <laughs> now I'm just, I'm really trying to have a good time. You know, like I said, with friends and family. I'm really trying to um, 
enjoy my night and all that. I told you guys I'm trying to have like my own personal um, business going on, trying to be my own entrepreneur. So I have a couple of lashes that I've been like sampling and um, I have my, I just, just put my logo on this one to see how it look. I'm just missing the boxes. So I've been sampling these two eyelashes. Um, I've tried this one out already on Halloween and then this one I haven't tested out today yet so I'm probably gonna test this one out today but this one girl let me tell you this one is bomb I had um red eyeshadow on so it's like all over where the glue's at but girl look at these eyelashes um so these are not bomb don't know what to name them yet so um gotta order my packaging also have lip glosses out as well I'll leave uh picture here you guys could definitely follow me on my social medias because i do not have my website up yet because i don't fully have everything that i need these are bomb like they're i think they're both 3d mink lashes um this gg gorgeous lip gloss i don't know if you guys can see this is the second time that it's putting like white on my lips right now put on my clear lip gloss in glo oh shit that's a lot in glossy girl oh these eyelashes is bomb y'all i'm taking see if i could spray it a little bit with the Evian facial spray Talk about this in my video that would be up after this, which it should have been before this, but it's okay. Just spray the face a bit. Foundation, I don't even think I have a new foundation. Hmm, oh, guys, let me put you on about Anastasia. Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer real quick. I got this at my local TJ Maxx for $9.99. Retail says for $15. This is in the shade... Oh. Cappuccino. This is how it looks. And I was like, oh shoot. This probably gonna be bomb. Like, y'all, packaging and everything. Look, I'm telling y'all. This is the packaging. This is how it looks. When I tell you, when I tested this out, girl, let me tell you. It is patchy AF. Okay? Patchy AF. Don't know what it could have been. I feel like it's the bronzer itself. So I'm going to try it off once again to show you guys that I'm not tripping. So, all right, I have my moisturizer on, which I told you guys was my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Then the First Aid Beauty um, Oil. Um, and then my e.l.f. Coreless Putty Primer. So I have all that on. Now it's time to move on to foundation. I've actually been liking my foundation mixed with my um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil again like I used to. I used to be obsessed with that combo. And I'm back obsessed with it because how cold it is. Um, and my skin has a tendency to be dry. So I kind of want to try it on half of my face with just the oil that I have on and then the other half with that oil to see. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be home. So this makeup is gonna come right off. So might as well just test it, right? So I'm gonna do this half regular to see how this foundation sits with that oil underneath. I'm gonna test it with um, my primer oil. I'm just gonna dabble some dabble. <laughs> oh god, I hate when I say that word. <clears throat> I feel like I say it weird. So this is my natural side and this is my makeup side. I feel like there's no difference. I feel like I look the same, just minusing the redness. Like I'm literally taking away my redness. And I've embraced my redness, honestly. Doesn't doesn't bother me. I I could go a long time like I have been without makeup, 
and still get complimented. You know what I mean? It's not to be cocky or conceited because that's not what I am. I just know, like, you know, the way I've been taking care of my skin and how I look in my skin and feel in my own skin is great. So, enough of me preaching and rambling. <laughs> I'm going to put a drop, just one drop, into the foundation. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit here. I like this side better because it's I you could tell it's a little more natural it's not like I feel like it's not sitting on the skin um, and I feel like it's more hydrating than this our concealer um, I already know how the Becca powder works so I was thinking of kind of testing out the cover concealer especially with the powder because um, the Becca powder is meant to be a very hydrating just gonna put, put a little bit if I like it or not. I kind of like this concealer. Um, shade is a pain, and I gotta go shade lower. Um, but for eight bucks, I think it's like seven, eight bucks, it's not bad for now. Now I'm gonna test out with this powder. Using my powders with um, dry sponges, so I got a plain beauty blender right here. And this is how you open it and this is how it looks it's like a very mist like wet powder not like soaking wet but it's like a wet powder I'm gonna show you guys how this bronzer looks. I kinda wanna do it with this fan brush. Because I did it with an angle brush and it looked really bad. So I'm sure it with a fan brush very lightly. See, with a fan brush, it's a lot better than <laughs> the brush that I was using. But it's still not as good because it still looks, you know, a bit blotchy and cakey. This side is blotchy. Then I'm just gonna go in just with my own GYN Wild Cotton Palette and brush it with leche. Same brush. And just try to fix it up. Tarte Party blush. I'm gonna use Clay and Party. Um, I'm not really big into blushes, so you guys are gonna constantly see me using the same ones unless it gets sent to me. Then, and yeah, this one's broken too. Unless it gets sent to me, then I'll definitely try out different ones, but honestly, now it's just what I have. I don't put blush on like that, anyways. Space Case Cosmetics. In the shade Scene from Space. Scene from Space 1E. This is the name of it. And this is how it looks. This one's bomb. It looks good. It just doesn't look right on camera. Ooh, very soft. in a little bit until it gets tacky. Then go with the highlighter and this one. I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit. I'm gonna go on a little rant right now, you know, just what's coming to my head. 
um, before I end this video soon. But it's crazy because when I was younger, you know, the whole believing in, in Jesus was kind of kind of difficult to really understand as a child than how it is now you know as you as you grow older um and as I grew older I could really understand like just the way things happen happen for their reasons I mean to each his own agree to disagree Honestly, keep your comments about this running to yourselves. If you don't have nothing nice to say, keep it to yourselves. If you do have something nice to say, I don't mind hearing it. Good definitely hit that up. Good definitely comment, you know, on your opinion on how you guys feel or something you guys went through about a situation like this and you're like, wow, like girl, I went to that same thing and it's crazy. I feel like God puts things in your path for their reasons and you would have to figure out that reasons for yourself so i you know had situations where i'm like why did that happen to me like was it a good reason for that to happen to me or was that a bad reason you know like why did that happen to me in the sense of like something good or something bad you know what i'm saying like i feel like there's so much that's been happening in my life good and bad and i didn't realize the reasons until i actually sat down and thought about them like why did that just happen to me like why me god why did you bring this in my path why did you let that happen to me like i said good or bad why me i would always question that always question and question and question like why me you know and then I started realizing a lot of the things, uh, like a lot to my and like to my questions, I would have to realize the answers myself, you know. And on the other hand, there's situations that happened to me, and I'm like, wow, you know, I see why that happened to me, and I'm grateful for why that happened to me, or I'm grateful this happened to me at this point in my life so I can understand why. You know, um, I, I know I'm not the only one out there to feel this way. Um, my belief and love for God has just been growing as the years gone by for me to understand, like, why has that happened to me? Oh, I use my e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel Duo. You guys know I love that. Then the um, e.l.f. Beautifully Bare, Naked Tinted, something like that black is black but then just to blend my uh real lashes with my falsies um i'm really like be in my face like i'm really blend out uh, but i'm not the moments in my life that i actually happen now i understand why i just need more to come my way i just need more signs to come my way so then I know like you know what this is meant for me this is good for me this wasn't meant for me and that's why it was bad you know anyways it's crazy really want to try the red lip color like I really really want to try it out I'm beasting this but before I try out the red lip color I want to show you guys the the nude color like I said, it's a the plumping, plumping gloss. So you need a lip pencil, and you could even outline your own lips with this because of the way the applicator is. So this is the. Iconic London, what is it again? Lip plumping gloss in nearly nude. What I really want to try is the Dose of Colors. Where is this? Look at matte lipstick in date night. I 
All right, so I'm just gonna give myself one more spray. Bam. Of the MAC Fix Plus. A little of the Evian. You could put um, shadow on your lower lashes, but I don't always like to do that. Um, inner corner highlighter as well, I'm not super big on either. I think that, that is it for this look. I'm trying to see around like what am I missing, but I think I completed everything already. Um, I will be trying my best to come back and bring back more content for you guys but i really hope you guys will enjoy this video stay tuned for more because like i said i really want to bring more back for you guys um and i'll see you guys in my next one well after my next one and my next one was pre-recorded so that being said i love you guys and talk to you later